Today we are here at the Island Shangri-La in Hong Kong. We are super excited to tell you all about our stay, so let's jump right in. Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Max. I'm Marin. And we're Voyager Guru. Post weekly videos with hotel reviews, travel tips, and video experiences from some of our favorite destinations around the world. So if you don't already, consider subscribing. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. As you can tell today, we are very comfortable. <laughs> we decided to forego getting dressed and do this video from the comfort of our bathrobes here in our room. Our first category is location. Location, we rate five stars. Honestly, this is such a perfectly central hotel. It's located next to the Conrad, the Upper House Hotel, a JW Marriott, and a number of other hotels in the area. It's also literally on top of a mall and a metro station that takes you straight to the other side of the city. It's super convenient. You can basically just go down the elevator, walk through the lobby, Lobby, take an elevator down into the mall and there you are you're on top of a four or five story mall that has every possible shop you could imagine but it's also your connection to the rest of Hong Kong it makes it a really easy and simple experience to be able to get just about anywhere and you're also walking distance from pretty much everything we walked right over to the Victoria Peak tram took that up we were able to see the hotel from up there just gorgeous view. Yeah, and it's only a 10 minute walk from Central, which is the main shopping district if the mall downstairs doesn't do it for you. Even if you're going over to the Kowloon side, if you time the metro right, you can get over there in a matter of minutes. I think we made it over from the Temple Street Night Market last night back here in about 15 minutes. Uh, yeah. So it was really efficient. And in fact, it was more efficient than it would have been <laughs> taking an Uber because it was completely gridlocked. Yeah, and the hotel is only about 45 minutes from the airport and it's about a $40 Uber ride and just about the same for taxis. Our second category is lobby and check-in. Lobby and check-in, we rate five stars. And I can probably say that we did have a special and unique experience with check-in. We were literally whisked away from the car through the lobby and checked in in our room. They do offer in-room check-in for Horizon Club guests as well. It was super well planned and executed. We were picked up by the Shangri-La in one of their beautiful cars from their fleet. When we arrived at the hotel, we were greeted, we were taken up the elevator to our rooms, and in our room they actually did a great check-in where they served us tea in a traditional Chinese way, and gave us the whole story behind how welcoming somebody into your home, you always offer tea. It was a really nice touch. Something that I think is a welcome drink just went above and beyond in terms of getting you more acquainted with your local surroundings and making you feel like you're really in Hong Kong yeah. and not just at a Shangri-La anywhere else. Yeah, that was a really cool experience. And overall, the lobby is beautiful. It's actually technically, I think, the fifth floor of the hotel. There's a beautiful banyan tree right outside. It's got expansive ceilings and the typical Shangri-La elegance that you come to expect. Our third category is rooms. Rooms are eight four stars. The rooms are absolutely stunning, and we are on the 54th floor here, so when you walk in, the first thing you see is just an insane view of the harbor and of the rest of Hong Kong. The room is beautiful, it's elegant, it's got a classic style that we absolutely love. Yeah, and honestly, in this hotel, there's really not a bad view from the rooms, yeah. it appears. If you're facing on the harbor side, you get to see the harbor, some of the beautiful buildings, you get to look out at Kowloon, but if you're facing the other way, you're looking right up at Victoria Peak, at all of the buildings that have been built along the mountainside that are just jetting out and there's this big contrast of the kind of white and gray buildings against the green trees it's really it's pretty it's dramatic stunning. and the rooms start on the 39th floor so either way you have a great view of Hong Kong we love the Lakatan products in the bathroom. We've got a separate tub, a separate shower, double vanity, and all the amazing amenities that I love about hotel rooms. Yeah, and the room's actually pretty sizable as well. You can, yeah. There's a lot of space. There's a lot of space to move around. The bed is big. There's a big seating area, and the window is just so dramatic. I also like the decor. It really speaks to the Shangri-La style, fusing that Asian and British colonial style together, and it really comes through in an elegance that carries out throughout the entire hotel and in particular in the room. The rooms are a little older and a bit dated but they're actually about to undergo a major renovation and we're some of the last people that are going to be staying in these rooms before they go through that renovation process. Even though the technology in the room is quite old they have made changes to help you deal with some of that like charging your phone by the bedside. They've conveniently placed a plug 
that's kind of far from the bed and it leads all the way up to the nightstand so you can charge your devices without even needing to think about it. A great thing in addition to that is that they've added adapters that are already in the room. So tourists that are coming from Australia, that are coming from the US, that are coming from the UK, it doesn't really matter what you have, the adapters are already in the room. The room is silent. We don't hear any neighbors, you barely hear anyone outside. It's a really well insulated room, which I appreciate. And my favorite feature of any good hotel room is an espresso machine. They already have it stocked with water in the machine, which is such a nice touch and what we've seen at other Shangri-Las as well. They have a selection of coffees and you can always ask for more. Our fourth category is service. Service is often such a tricky thing for us to rate because we don't all often find ourselves overwhelmed by service. It's the opposite here. Service we rate five stars. From the moment we walk in the door, there are staff everywhere and everyone is so unbelievably nice. From Joyce who checked us in in the room, to Hayden at the club lounge, to the bartenders downstairs, everyone is overwhelmingly service minded. Everyone we've encountered has been just so on top of the service element of this entire stay from as Marin mentioned, check-in to the bar, to Marin saw a jogger, one of the guests that was coming back from a run, and before he even got to the door, another bellman had run and got a water and came up, and as he opened the door, he handed him a water as he came in through the door. I mean, it was one of those things that was just so well-timed, and you can really tell that they're paying attention to their guests and their every needs, and they're really here with that service mentality. Yeah, the service is truly five stars. Even the housekeeping has been amazing. The turndown is one of my favorite things in the world and they do an incredible job. And the staff is just really, really good at their job and you can tell that they really love their jobs too. Yeah, and that service extends beyond the hotel itself, beyond housekeeping and the hotel staff to also the restaurants and the dining. The bar manager there, Bob Lewinson, was just amazing. He was so attentive. He was walking up to everybody, introducing himself, asking how they enjoyed their experience and then he goes right behind, throws on an apron, and starts making drinks because the rush had kind of kicked on. He had lots of tickets that were that were stacking up, and so he jumped back there with some of the other, other bartenders and started making drinks. Hey, that was awesome. Really showed that the staff and even the management here are willing to get behind that service, and that's why we rated five stars. Our fifth category is dining. Dining we rate five stars. We have had a tremendous experience here. And since we're in the Horizon Club, we've had access to their lounge. We also have access to breakfast at their other restaurants on property. They were recently re-awarded a one Michelin star, which is a huge accomplishment. And the Lobster Bar is one of the top 50 bars in Asia. Everything in food and dining has been amazing. As Marin mentioned, the Horizon Club itself is an experience. They serve Veuve Clicquot and Champagne during their happy hour in the evening, which is from 5.30 to 7.30, with a variety of other wines as well. All free. All free, it's included as part of the Horizon Club. They also have a great selection of food. We found it difficult to actually want to <laughs> go out to dinner after eating there for a while, because between the dumplings and the little canapes and the appetizers that they had, I mean, it was just such a wide variety of things assortments from cheese platters to traditional Chinese cuisine. There was really everything there and that made it a really fun experience to just be able to sit there on the 56th floor, look out at the city of Hong Kong at night and enjoy some cocktails, enjoy some food. It was really great. It was awesome. And we had breakfast uh, the first morning in Cafe Petrus, which is what was awarded the Michelin star. And that was an incredible beef medallion for breakfast. It was a special take on steak and eggs. And I had a lobster scramble, which was <laughs> amazing. We did have cocktails at the lobster bar, which we mentioned, which was also an amazing experience. While we did not have dinner at the restaurants, we can honestly say the dining is five stars. Our sixth category is facilities. Facilities we rate four and a half stars. They have everything you need for a city hotel and then some. There's an outdoor pool area, there's a beautiful gym with more than enough equipment for a great workout. And they also have a little spa area that's attached to the gym. The women's side was clearly updated somewhat recently, so I had a five-star experience there. However, Max aside, they were probably still undergoing a little bit of renovation, so it was a little bit less refined. Certainly some of the things need updating in the facilities. Again, they're already undergoing renovations in the rooms, and so I think as part of that, they're also gonna be doing wider renovations across the property. And so a lot of those things I think will change and get better in the next couple months here. The Horizon Club, as we mentioned, is an incredible facility, and if you're wondering if that's worth the upgrade cost, it 100% is. And since you're situated right on top of the mall and the metro, you have everything you need for a perfect city stay. Our seventh and final category is style. 
Style, we rate five stars. We actually love this classic elegance of the hotel. I know if you've seen other videos, we go between this like crazy modern love and this classic style. We love them all, but they've done such a great job here, even down to the chandelier that's hanging right above us. And if you'll remember from some of our other videos, when we look at style, it's obviously a very personal choice, but what we try to encompass is not just our own personal preference, but how much that style carries through throughout the entire hotel, how much consistency there is, and then how much it really fits into its local area. When you close the blinds, do you feel like you're in that locale? And I think for Hong Kong, this really does feel Hong Kong, right? It has that feeling yeah. to it. And part of that is it has this Asian elegance with this British colonial sophistication that just really represents the Shangri-La brand. And I think in a city like Hong Kong, that works so well. We absolutely loved all the little decor, all the artwork, and every little thing that goes into making this hotel exactly what it is. Yeah, and it's all the details too. It's not just the wall decor or the furniture. It's the small things that they do, using linen cocktail napkins instead of using a paper napkin, doing all these small touches that just really fit and are consistent across everything. There's also living plants in the bathroom and on your table in the room. It's just all the little touches that really make it special. Overall, we rate this hotel 4.8 stars. We are absolutely in love with the Shangri-La brand and this hotel in particular and have had an amazing time. So if you liked this video and found it useful, be sure to hit the thumbs up. And if you have any questions about our stay here at the Shangri-La or our stay in Hong Kong, be sure to ask them in the comments below. We love looking for any feedback or comments that you might have. And be sure to check out the links that we've put in the description below and at the end screen for the other videos that we did here on Hong Kong. And be sure to follow our travels on our blog at voyagerguru.com and on our Instagram at Voyager Group. And as always, I'm Marin. And I'm Max. And we're Voyager Group. See you out there.